She does not want there to be any distraction uh, for the government as we respond to the COVID uh, crisis and where the government must be focused on recovery and jobs. So I really want to uh, thank her and uh, I have now uh, made some uh, decisions that I want to inform the people of Queensland about. Uh, I've moved very swiftly and decisively and today I will unveil to you uh, our team to deal with uh, COVID-19, both in the health response and the economic response. Uh, I've appointed uh, Stephen Miles as the Deputy Premier. Now, Stephen and I have worked very closely together, uh, especially with dealing with the health crisis. And uh, I have every confidence that he will serve the state well as the Deputy Premier, and I congratulate him. I have asked uh, Minister Cameron Dick uh, to take on the role as Treasurer and retain the infrastructure and planning portfolio. I have appointed Minister Kate Jones as Minister for State Development while continuing as the Tourism and Innovation Minister. She will also uh, retain responsibility for Cross River Rail. Uh, the Minister for Foreign Emergency Services, Craig Crawford, will assume responsibility also for uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander partnerships and I have appointed uh, an additional regional uh, minister. Uh, for, uh, Glenn, minister uh, will be Glenn Butcher from Gladstone. He will uh, join the cabinet. He's been an assistant minister. He's worked very hard in that central Queensland region. And he will be the minister for regional development and manufacturing. And uh, I've spoke to him uh, and he's very excited about uh, uh, getting on with the job. Uh, I want to just uh, reassure Queenslanders that these are permanent appointments. These are permanent appointments. This is 100% Queenslanders expect myself and my team to be focused on dealing with the health and economic crisis that uh, we have before us, and that is absolutely my intention.